Steve, congratulations. Smile on your face, laughing about it now, but in your illustrious career, is that the toughest match you've ever played in? Yeah, one of them. Yeah, definitely. You know, people don't understand. I've had like two, three weeks to, to dwell on this game, you know, sort of thing. And uh, people just telling me who I'm playing and all that, like, and all, all the hype. And yeah, people don't understand. You're up there on your own, and there's only one person that can play the game. And you know, I, I've, I'm so happy I've, I've won the game, and, and that I played well as well because Fallon played so well. And um, you know, it was a, to me that you know that's one of the best results I've had. Did experience get you that win? Maybe. I, d I don't really know. I mean, people say maybe it's because you, you, you're experienced, but I know I've got to dig deep. I knew the game was on, and um, I've watched her play the last six months, and uh, she does she does not let go, and um, she proved it again tonight. First, first two, two and a half sets, you were averaging about 104. After the disappointing few years that you've had, were you unsure if that game was still in you? No. The problem with my game is I, I can practice like that, and you know I, I can average, do their marriages all the time, and I just can't seem to take that up on, onto the stage. Um, maybe maybe tonight I just I was in another zone, and I just dug deep, and I thought, well, you know, I've just got to take every leg I can because that's all you're going to get. And uh, I, I don't know, maybe just just different frame of mind tonight. Normally, you're the darling of darts; you get cheered everywhere. Different emotions. I'm like, what was it like being pooed on the walk-on? Um, no, I, 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 I thought they were quite good actually. I, I thought I was going to get a lot worse than that, and um, I thought they were they, they were quite good all the way through the game. They they, they give me a little bit here and there, but uh, like I said, I, I try to throw pretty quick. So before they can hype it all up, I've, I've thrown me double. But um, no, I mean, uh, I just didn't want to go to that last last leg. How far can Fallon go in the sport? If she plays like that, she, she can go all the way. There's nothing stopping her. I, I mean, you watch her every time, all the way through all the tournaments. She seems to thrive on the stage. And, and like, she seems to like the challenge. And uh, some people are, are built different ways, aren't they? You know, and uh, I think she's going to be around for a long time. Steve, many congratulations on the result today. Steve, this is your 31st World Championship. Is that the most nervous you've ever been going into a game this event? Yeah, I was nervous, yeah, but very, very nervous. I mean, it's hard to say, yeah. I, I try to make out to everybody I'm not nervous, but yeah, of course I'm nervous. You know, I, I didn't want to lose. My sister texted me yesterday, she says, oh, you're playing a girl then? Because she don't obviously to follow the darts, all she just sees. But, um, yeah, it, it, you've got to treat everybody the same now, because I have always said there's no reason why a girl can't play as good as a man. And uh, Fallon's just proved the point. You've been in the game a long time. Is there still a, a little bit of stigma amongst players that you don't want to lose someone? Well, yeah, of course you do. In a, in a way, yeah. But I think I think that's suddenly going out the way now. Um, Fallon's beat a few people now. Lisa on the pro tour, she's playing very well. She's beat quite a few of the for the lads as well. And. Uh, there's no reason why why a lady can't play as well as a man, really. I mean, it's it's, it's not that physical that y you need to have strength to do it. But uh, I, I think you know, over the next few years, you you could see like a a good mixture of ladies and men. How big a win was that for you tonight? Because have you lost that game? You would be out of the world's top fifty. How big was it just to, to keep you up those rankings? That was huge, huge, really. And um, you know, to wake up in the morning to think of of loss last night would have been horrendous you know um, but like I said I've come in with the attitude that you've got to treat her as an opponent and that's what I did and um, you know I come out on top. Averaging 104 like Phil said after the first two sets with, with levels like that you must be still got a lot to offer this game. Oh yeah definitely yeah, yeah. it's it just like I say it's just keeping it going maybe maybe the breaks don't help you know before I used to play, we used to play like all the way through, so you just keep going. So maybe that stops the drop, you know, I, I don't know. But, uh, oh yeah, if, if I can keep averaging, you, well, you've got to average 100 in this tournament or you're not going to win it. Steve, you mentioned the time between the draw 
when the draw came out and when you played this match, did it play on your mind a little bit with everybody coming up to you and saying, you know, well, sorry. I tried to make out he didn't, yeah. I mean, he, I mean I've had <laughs> sleep this night and everything. I mean, there's, there's no lad that, out of all the dark players that can say, oh yeah, that, what a good draw you've got. You know, nobody wants to play Fallon, all he said. And um, it's, it's just the way the draw comes out. But you've got, like I said, you've got to treat him as an opponent and play your game and uh, I am so, so happy I've, I've come out on top. And after the relief of getting over the line there, it's Kim Hybrex next in the game that I'm sure you'll feel you can win. Well, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm probably in the worst half of the lot, really. I've had Fallon. I've got Kim that's, that's suddenly picking up his, his game over the years. He's been struggling and he's suddenly starting to play well. And then you've got Gezi Price. I mean, if I'm going to win this tournament, I'm definitely going to win it <laughs> the hard way. Who's easier to deal with on stage, playing Fallon Sherrick or playing Gerwin Price? Um, <laughs> 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 well, Gezi gets the, Gezi gets the booze, doesn't he? So, uh, <laughs> who knows? Oh, there's a discussion, you know, about Fallon and the, the Premier League and maybe giving her a tour card. Um, now it's for sure that she won't get a tour card on her own uh, by her results. Um, so what do you think about it? We heard Peter, what Peter was saying, what Gern was saying. What's your opinion on that with your experience? Um, the Premier League is, is more, it's is never counts to our rankings or anything. It's more yes. of a show, yes. show thing. So, um, and it would fit with the regulations. Yeah, I mean, it, if Barry thinks, you know, I, 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 I always remember when Barry came in, he said he was going to do this, do that, and I said that, and he's took it to to the out limit. So, if he thinks it's right, then obviously he's seen this darts going forward, and he thinks it's going to be better for the sport. Then, you know, so but what be do it. you think? Me myself, I think he should earn the spot. You know, I, I've never been in the Premier League. I've always loved to play in the Premier League, but I would not want to get an invite just because, OK, I'll play 31 tournaments on a trot. I, I want to win something and then get an invite. OK. And the tour card? The second topic? Tour card? Well, you have to earn the tour card, you know. That's why we got the, the tour school, you know. And fair play to Lisa. She she got her tour card. She did everything right and got her card. and. Uh, you know, you, you can you can't knock anybody for doing that, and that that's the system and how it should be, really. But following what you're saying before, uh, she's strong enough to go to Q school, right? Who? Fallon. Fallon, yeah. I mean, but if Fallon doesn't get a, a tour card, then she'll have to wait again till till next year. You can't give. I, I, I would. I don't think you should give people tour cards unless, um, like like you say, they they've earned it. Because I mean, there's that many people I know that, like, that they've dropped out the top few and they've got had to go back into that that maybe. situation, you know, and, yeah. and and had to fight for their tour card. Maybe it wouldn't be good for her because it's not the same worth, not, not the same value. Uh, if you get it by a present or uh, if you, if you earn it, I think it's a big difference for yourself as a player. Well, through life, I've always I've always thought I have to earn things, and and it. I, I've never been given anything in my life. I've always had to earn anything, so I think everybody should have to earn it. Yeah. Thank you.